Hey, it's Ted here. I'm in the drive lab and I'm going to be taking apart a DPS, an older DPS drive from the 90s. I've gotten a couple of questions about the special tools and about how to take it apart and rebuild one. So this is just going to be stripping an old one out and then I'll go over the procedures on how to rebuild a drive. So let's get started. Okay, here's a list of special tools that to start to get it apart. You're going to need 3855877, the retainer tool. That's going to remove the retainer that's threaded into the housing. Once you unthread that, then you're going to need the outer prop shaft tool, which is going to thread on to the outer prop shaft, a bolt or a slide hammer to pull this assembly out. You're then going to need the vertical drive shaft retainer tool, which I'll show you in a second. That's 3850601. And then that will unthread the retainer on the top. And then you'll need a spline socket to hold the vertical drive shaft. That's 3850598. And a breaker bar to hold that. And then you're going to need 3855921. And you're going to need 3855922, which go together. That's the long tool over there that's going to go over the inner prop shaft once this is removed. And then you can unthread the pinion not using that. So I'm going to go through that procedure. Uh, real quick, and then I'll show you how this kind of comes apart. So let's go. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use this special tool, which is that 3855877 and a breaker bar. You may have to heat up the case to get this loose. This fits in the retainer and unthreads the retainer the housing. There is a metal retainer which has tabs that lock the carrier into the housing and it goes up into the housing so this fits up in here which keeps that from rotating so that comes out next you're going to need the tool that threads over the outer tube prop shaft or outer prop shaft that's 884789 thread that onto that shaft and then if you have a bolt this is threaded or you can use a slide hammer to slide hammer This is the 3855921 and 3855922. There's a set screw in here that holds these two together. This slot fits over the pinion nut. So the slot is over the prop shaft. Rotate this so it locks into that. That holds the pinion nut in place. You then need the spline socket, which is 3850598. That fits over the drive shaft. You also need the drive shaft retainer tool, which is 3850601. That fits into the retainer, which has receiving slots in it, and you're going to unthread that. Put a breaker bar on the vertical drive shaft, and then you can break that loose. That breaks the pinion nut loose. Then what you can do is you can unthread this all the way, the retainer. So that comes out next. On here we've already broken the pinion nut loose and now I can unthread that pinion nut. Alright, I've got to press the gear off the end of the inner prop shaft, so I need to use this tool, and this tool part number is 3855919. So what I need to do is I need to thread it on to the end of the prop shaft, so we're still using the uh, 921 and the 922 tools that are still assembled. This is normally done inside the case, but just so you can see uh, how this is set up. So this threads down in here and then what you're going to do is you're going to physically tighten that nut and it's going to pull the shaft out of the gear so this tool fits under the end of the gear perfectly. Here, and it pulls the vertical 
the drive shaft out. So I need to get some Allen wrenches and put this together. Snug this up a little bit. It takes a 5 16 Allen wrench. wrench to take it out. So quarter turn on each side. Let's go back. There it is. It's pop loose. Basically it's the intermediate drive shaft that connects the upper to the lower. And if you simply cut it in half and you weld it on a piece of angle steel like this, you can put it in a vise and then when this vertical drive shaft comes up, that's how I store it in the fixture, so I'm going to put that in the vise. I like to keep my race with it in that vertical shaft. shaft. Next I'll get the tools to pull the races out and I'll show you that next. All right I want to pull the pinion race out. So, so this tool part number is either the old OMC part number 914700 or the Volvo part number 3850619. You also need this threaded shaft that's going to fit through here and then you need the race remover here and that part number is 3855859. And it's important that when you put this on this assembly that you realize that you've got to slip this under the race so that catches the bottom part of the race. So this goes on to this tool as such. You put it on the other way, it doesn't pull the race out very well. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip that under the race down in here. Set that down inside the case so it fits. And I'll thread this nut down. That sits flush, and we're just going to take a wrench and we're going to pull that race out. There are shims under this race for pinion height. there's the race and the shims are under it. The next race we're going to pull out is a Ford gear race. So I'll show you those tools. So next I have to get that inner race out way down in there. So I need these tools. I need this spacer, which is 3855863. That's that plate that fits the case. I need that threaded bolt with a washer again. And then I need this special tool which goes behind the race. You have to compress it and snap it behind the race. And that's 3855862. So this goes through like this. And then this is gonna go behind the race as such. So the book says to put a nut behind here. I'm just gonna snap this in here real quick and show you how to do this. So you wanna take the nut all the way up towards the top. If you're lucky, you can snap it in there by hand with a bunch of rags. Get it centered into the race. Set that down in there. Okay. So the book shows to hit this with a, a dead blow hammer to drive it in. Sometimes I get lucky and I can just shock it in there. So I'm gonna just try and force it through one shot. There it goes. All right, so I got that behind the race. Now I can thread that out and pull that race out. 15 millimeters, sorry folks. Okay, so I'm just gonna tighten that down, hold this end. Alright. There we 
go. And there's your race, and behind that race are shims for your forward gear. And that puts the forward gear at the right position for your gear lash. So there's one more bearing I have to get out, and that's that pinion bearing. It's down inside the housing. So that bearing is down inside the housing, and that bearing is what rides on the vertical drive shaft. So I have to pull that bearing out too. Tools you need for that are this installation removal tool. So that, that tool you need, the removal tool is 3855868. You need this threaded bolt and you need that tool again, which is your pinion tool. That's gonna slide down through here, thread that way up. With the pinion bearing, reach up through there and thread this onto the shaft. that bearing right up out of the housing. And that's it. And that is a caged roller bearing that's pressed down inside the housing. So that's to remove that. So that's, I've gotten the drive taken apart. Uh, we've taken the, all of the bearings, all the gears, the shafts out of it, the races out of it. So the dealers have a big investment in this. Um, it's important to understand that as a consumer. Um, you're, you're just not going to go out and probably buy these tools that are too expensive um, for you to actually want to try to do this as a private person. If you are a dealer and you want to get into drives, this, this video is definitely going to benefit uh, new technicians for uh, reassembly, disassembly uh, on a DPS lower. It's similar to a DPSA. There are some differences in DPSA than the older DPS. So get ready for part two is going to be coming up. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.